hello guys you're welcome again to my channel this morning if today is your first time of coming to this great channel this here sitting talking to you is lolo and my channel is relationship and talent clinic with lolo i talk about relationship i talk about talent sometimes i don't talk alone we talk in group but i own the place and i'm talking alone today today I want to talk about relationship so if you just visited and you are yet to click on that subscribe button there what are you waiting for please just touch that or tap that subscribe button there to subscribe and try to give this video a thumb up try to share and as well hmm? activate the notification bell if it is your first time or if you've been here and you've not activated that bell if you've been here and you wait for me to send you link before you could come to my channel what are you still doing here no now so help your girl by activating the notification bell there is always one wonderful topic coming up here or speech or work or something coming up to this channel for you to come and watch and learn and share so help me to share this premiere video please and help me to super chat super sticker or super thanks if you can please if you can do so how are you all doing i hope you are doing well my fellow nigerians how is it going the country is so difficult inflation is on the high side but i hope you're managing god will see us too today i want to talk about um is our relationship so let me ask you this question I was asking some people i i just wanted to take a survey i wanted to take a survey and i went around and i um, took a random sample of guys and ladies so i asked some questions matured guys and ladies so i asked this question i asked some guys would you like to marry a lady that already, already has a child at home and i asked some question to some ladies do you know what <laughs> My dear is responsive. Anyway, it's something I want us to share together. I asked this question. Would simply would you like to marry a lady that has a child already at home? A single mother. Many guys objected. I got some three different responses that among all, among others, this one said, For what now? Why would I marry someone that be opening legs up and down? For guys. <laughs> no now. <laughs> That's not for me. Then the other guy and I said, when there are other uh, 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 brand new ladies out there what would i go for third hand if not second hand so another one said for what uh, uh, does that baby not have a father why would i marry such a mistake she is a mistake do you understand so among other responses then i asked some ladies so do you know the response among all the positive responses i got from ladies this particular one is the reason why i want to make this video she said why won't i it is a mistake besides a child is a gift from God. Why would I, that want to get married and have my own child, want to reject a guy that has mistakenly has a child? And I told her that, why do you call it a mistake? He said, well, however we see it. But for the fact that it happened when they never planned themselves to get married, to her is a mistake. Let me not particularize on that mistake of a ten. She said, a child is a gift from God. Why would I? Who would like to get married and have my own children reject the man because he has a child do you understand from a lady the other one said i would not reject him in as much as he never hid it from me if he tells me he approaches me for marriage and he tells me this is what happened i have a child I have a son I have a daughter that she wouldn't have any problem with that I said among other positive responses i took a random sample only few ladies said just two let me just two said no i won't do i don't want trouble tomorrow the mother has to come and be attacking me tomorrow or the children will grow tomorrow and turn enemies of my own children this one is a topic of another day but it's a very wild something to talk on so now and i ask you on this premiere video what if you were in the show of a guy that i've seen a lady he wants to marry and you love her so much and you discovered she tells you that she has a child at home what would you do would you drop her maybe she didn't tell you this at the initial time but when it's the time for marriage she now opens up to you and tells you she has a child at home uh after or before marriage what would you say 
Okay, would you still go ahead to marry this lady? Would you? Well, mm. and you, a guy, a lady, and the guy wants to marry you, you discover that he has a chance. Or he, either he tells you or you discover by yourself. Would you go ahead to marry this guy? Please comment on the comment section and view on this premiere video. On this chat box, please tell us your opinion. Say, don't criticize someone's opinion. Don't counter anybody's opinion. Your opinion is yours. His is his. Has is has. Mine is mine. So everybody has different opinions over this particular topic. Do you understand? And what works for A doesn't may not work for B that same way. And what works for B may not work for C that same way. It may work for you. What works for A may work for B, but in a different way. That's why I say don't count anyone's opinion. Don't say, mm -mm, your opinion is bad. I can't go. This is bad. You're not supposed to do this. Or you're supposed to do that. I've seen many people that got married to people that have children at home before they got married, ladies or guys. Yet, they've met a very happy marriage. Well, some on that same shoe, but it's not going well with them. So that's why I said, what works for A may not work for B. So don't say because it works for A, B must do it. Or because it didn't work for A, B mustn't do it. Listen to this. If you have a child at home and someone has come to marry you, yes, it's a good thing you have that baby. You did not abort that baby. You have the baby. You don't understand? So now, someone has come to marry you as a lady, there is need if it has gotten to the stage of proposal to the stage of serious i want to marry you serious proposal not just a mere verbal talk okay when someone has come and said i want to marry you hmm? and you have seen the seriousness in this person the person has proposed the person has made steps to show you, to convince you that hey, it's really serious to get married to you. There is need to let him know if you have a child at home. Yes, you have a child at home. Outside your matrimony at home, you have a child. Before you get married, let him know. Tell him the truth. I don't say when he just comes and says, I love you. He says, I have a child. No. Just let your secret be your secret. Then if he discover, God, I've, I'm going to get to this. I'm going to get to this. Let me not jump to that. So tell him if he comes to the extent of I want to marry you and he proposes and you know he is serious, please let him know. Let him know. I, mean, I know some guys would. I know some guys that would say, see, let the secret be for me and you alone. I don't want any member of my family to know. No matter how close you are to them, don't tell them this. Don't mention it them why he says this is because he knows whom people that he's got that's got so he knows what would happen if you don't tell them so this is something i would say let it be between me and you i have a friend she is married today with two children a girl and a boy he ha she had a girl before she got married till now the husband people are away but her husband is away they thought that baby is her mommy's last one Yes, that was what they presented her to be, her mommy's last one. So it's not like the family has discovered. If they discover, that's their business. But the guy was like, let it be between me and you. Don't tell them. Do you understand? If they discover, let it be on me. And that the marriage is perfectly going well. It is smooth. They are happy, you know. So in that manner, just tell the person. What if she didn't tell that guy and the guy just discovered on himself that this lady has a child before saying yes to me? Probably after marriage, that marriage will never go well. The guy would not be happy because he keeps thinking, which other secret are you keeping from me? Why did she keep this from me? Doesn't mean it was her fault. That means it was her fault. Yeah, she did this, deliberately did this. The reason why she kept it from me. So let him know. Let him know. Then, you know, a guy that wants to get married to a lady, when did lady accept you, just hold on first. Because there are some people that you would tell immediately, they would not accept your proposal and they will use your secret against you, your past or your mistake or however you want to present it. They will use it against you. They will escalate it. They did not accept your proposal. They will still go out there and escalate your past. So that's why I say keep it until that time when you know and you're sure this guy is serious, this lady has accepted my proposal. She is seriously in love with me now. She wanna move in with me. So that time you can say, please, did you say you wanna marry me? Okay, look at this, look at this. Do you have problem with that? Please, if he has problem with that, don't go. No matter how much you love him. If you have a child and you've mentioned it to him, he has a problem with that. 
don't go you know why you are going to get frustrated in that marriage he will frustrate you any slight mistake is going to use it against you any little misstep you, you miss your step he is going to use it against you he will let people know about it he will friends of his relatives of his family members everybody is going to know you are this bad person you did this you did that and peradventure you start looking for the child saying hey you don't have any left when you are busy doing this sleeping around with guys and wasting them do you understand so if he has problem with it don't force him don't force him if she has problem with it don't force her it is you know on the side of the ladies when a guy accepts you not if if some ladies bring in their child they are i don't call them illegitimate children i don't call them illegitimate children that's what the people do call them i don't call them that name because they have fathers there is someone somewhere that got them impregnated so those children have fathers that's why i don't like using that word illegitimate that is the word english people use for this case that are born at home before marriage but i don't use that term illegitimate i don't use it for them so many ladies when they get married because of the issue of having problem with the um, sisters brothers mothers in law and all that they keep their children with their mothers or relatives while they're moving with the husband but most men when they have children at home with another lady when they get married some of these children would stay with their stepmother they understand and most of these women don't take it easy with these children they start maltreating them yes some of these some of these women do this when they come in this marriage meet a child there or the one that is somewhere and the husband now brings uh, him or her in after bringing this woman in you see them start maltreating these children children do you understand so that is why i said if you've told the lady that you have a child or children and she has problem with it please don't force her to come in so don't bring her in don't bring her in if you bring her in that child is not going to find it easy with her tomorrow unless out of her repentant heart she comes back so please forgive me it was out of ignorance or something now i've thought about it i will welcome you in your situation your past i will welcome your baby fine if they come just pray it works but when someone says no why would you you know and you keep persuading persuading pers so let me tell another one i will not keep the baby with you i'm gonna send the baby to my parents i'm gonna send the baby to my relatives you promise them all this they come in tomorrow what might happen where this baby is and baby comes to stay with you this woman now starts to maltreat these children that's why i advise don't force anybody to accept a child you have outside wedlock don't force anybody to accept it it has happened it has happened i'm not encouraging but if it has happened don't force any lady to accept it and i would force any guy to accept it because if you do in future that baby would and you as well would suffer it do you understand what the lady would suffer is that any slight mistake you make is going to be used against you that would never be a secret again. He talks about it. He throws a piece of what because of it on you. He escalates it. Do you understand? On the ladies, on the guy's side is this woman will come in and start maltreating this baby. If the baby comes to live with you guys tomorrow. But if they welcome them with their whole heart, no problem. Just bring them in and pray. It works. Sometimes self, someone would come in and take these babies to be their own biological children. Treat them same. And you see things work out for them. So if A has gone, accepted this baby and live happily with them, B and I say, mm, let me see if it works out for me. Don't accept. Don't. Then, another aspect I want to touch is when you say you cannot marry someone that has a child, fine, it's better if you can't, don't go. But you that has this child, that have this child, let this partner of yours know when it has gotten to the stage of marriage. Let him or her know. Don't let them discover from the side. Not even you telling them. It is someone else that would come to tell them. When they discover, you now start stammering. Mm, 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 what happened is actually, uh, well, I want to explain. Let me explain. It's like, baby, I don't want to hide it from you. Just that. You start stunting. You miss words. You lack words now to explain what happened. Why? Because you... Let me dance that noise. Sorry about that. That is because you hid it from her. If you have told someone something, the person now come to discover from another person. Would it be a secret again? No, 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 a secret. If the person gets angry, you only say, please, I've told you this before. Let it, let it not be an issue now, please. 
but hiding it from them, they discover from another person, from a third party. This is where it is very bad. Very, very bad. This is where it becomes a crime. It becomes a very big offense. Do you understand? So guys, let me know what you think. I don't want to prolong this video. In a nutshell, I ask a question. Answer on the chat box and also on the comment section. If you were to marry someone that has a child outside wedlock, comment your reason and the condition at which you would accept this person. As well, someone is already in this situation and has discovered from another person. Yes, yeah, someone is already in this situation. She actually discovered from another person that her now husband has a baby, a son, outside wedlock and never told her. She just discovered from someone, a family friend. So now she's so devastated. She doesn't know what to do. She's asking what she should do. That's what she can do than to stay in the marriage. Her, the, the husband loves her so much and does a lot for her. She as well loves the husband. They cherish each other. She shouldn't let this scatter the joy, the happiness, everything they share together. That's what I'm telling her. Don't let this. The guy is pleading. I've asked him. He said the reason why he hid it from her was the fear of losing her. And I asked him, is it better to lose her then or to lose her now? You ruin all you've labored for. Is that what you want? You won't lose her then because you tell her, you beg her. Do you understand? You explain. If you are meant to be, definitely she will accept. She might be angry at the initial time. At, at, at when the anger comes, she will come back and you know accept you. You hid it from her now. You say the fear of losing her. What if you lose her? Because she threatens to leave, but she will not leave. Mm? We've sorted it out. So what is your opinion? Would you accept? If yes, at what condition? And if for adventure these babies moving to stay with you, how would you treat these babies? Be honest and advise someone. That's all I have for this video. Don't forget to stay safe. Don't forget to share this video if you found interesting. Don't forget to super chat your girl. Don't forget to super sticker your girl. And don't forget to super thank your girl. Share this video. Someone needs to learn from this. If you haven't given it a thumb up, give it. If you have watched to this level, thank you so much. I appreciate you for all my supporters. Thank you so much. Very well appreciated. Your support shall never be taken for granted. So if you like this video, if you found it interesting, if you learned something from it, comment on the comment section. See you again on my next video, guys.